Hey, how's it going everyone? My name's Andrew and today let's talk about uh, some things that I just really don't like about the MLS. So before you guys accuse me of hating this uh, uh, MLS and soccer, uh, let me be clear that I do love soccer. I really love soccer. I've loved it since my whole life. And I really do support and love the MLS. And I wanted to see it succeed uh, to like become one of the most famous and like one of the best leagues in the world. It does have that potential, but there still are some things that the league could do better or could do without. And I'm going to talk about some things I don't like that the league currently does. And if you guys feel the same way, you know, let me know down below. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. One of the first things I want to mention is diverse pickings for MLS expansion teams. And what I mean by that is there are some um, currently some expansion teams who have put a bid who are in a state who already have MLS teams in them. For example, there is California who already has three teams. They have the San Jose Earthquakes, they have uh, the LA Galaxy, and they have officially now LAFC who is going to start playing in the 2018 season. California has two teams who have put in expansion team bids. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't get it, but I think it would be better for the league and help the league out if the MLS broadened their horizons and went, you know, went to states who don't have a soccer team in them, like uh, Arizona for Phoenix Rising, you know, North and South Carolina, Detroit in Michigan. I know you guys are very passionate about Detroit out there, but that's also really hard to say because uh, the the two MLS teams in California who have, I mean, the two expansion teams in California who have their bids set, they really have great fan base and great support and. Uh, at, I think a great chance to be accepted into the MLS but you know still I think that broadening the league's horizons could still help the league grow more you know grow the the soccer fan base community throughout the whole country not just you know in certain sections but then again if we had promotion and relegation those teams could just fight their way up to the MLS and everyone would be happy you know except the owners who got relegated that would that would suck so the next thing I would like to mention is the season schedule. I don't know if it's because I'm used to the European League schedule, which is like almost like lined up like a school year when they start like the end of summer, begin of fall, go all the way to May. That that seems like just like a perfect way to do it. But the MLS starts around, you know, like March and the season ends around uh, October-ish. And then they have like the playoffs and then, you know, the cup final the next the month after. And I know it's because the NFL starts around September and goes all the way to like February when the Super Bowl is. The MLS is still a little afraid because their TV ratings aren't the best. And I know that if they, well, they know if, that if they lined up with the NFL, they would lose a lot of support, like a lot of fans, a lot of people watching it. But I say that if you really want to see how much soccer is growing in this country and how much the league is growing, and what we need to do to fix the league is we lined up we line up this the league just like a European schedule and if it collapsed with the NFL I'm sorry I mean that sucks but I know it's America NFL is like the number one league but still I still think I still have hope and passion that the MLS could overthrow the NFL one day in like 20 years maybe so speaking of the NFL and big things about the NFL uh, let's talk about the draft. I don't like that the MLS has like a super draft just because the NFL has a draft and it's like it's like a big thing in this country. There's a whole draft day. They made a movie about it. That doesn't mean that the NFL, I mean the MLS should have its own draft. I just let the teams sign whoever they want, let them bring in whoever they want with their own money. That's the way it, it should be. We shouldn't have to keep, you know, competing with the NFL or trying to be similar just because the NFL has something doesn't mean that soccer or MLS should have the same thing. We shouldn't try to Americanize a sport that really isn't that American. And I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for that. Another one of those things is conferences. I just don't like conferences. That really does irk me a lot. I don't like the Eastern and Western. I know it's because it's a huge country and like that's the American way to do it, to line up a table. Because again, the NFL has conferences. I, I, why can't we just have like one big table 
now we have 22 teams. Well, in next season, we're going to have 23 teams. We can just have a 23-team league table. And, you know, the top six can still do the playoffs. It's just going to be the top six. It's not going to be the top six from each Eastern and Western Conference. That just, that's just a big whole cabal that I just don't like. A one-table league would be great. And a promotion also could fit in, you know. USL right under that league. Just go up into the MLS. Last three uh, of the 23 teams that get relegated. First three of the USL or NASL and get promoted into MLS. That's how it should be. All right, so last thing I would like to talk about is European players or like outside uh, American players. And by that, I mean, let's not, you know, bring in a 38-year-old striker who's past his best and just wants to chill here. Like, still wants to play soccer, but just wants to chill. No, let's not do that anymore. I know that's like a big topic because of the recent signing like of Jovinko, like two years ago or something, when... When Toronto brought Jovinko in, it was a big deal. People were talking about like, wow, they really just didn't sign a 39-year-old person. They really signed like a person who still has potential to like get better. And he is. And he tore up this league and still tearing it up. The first year he got it, he was tearing it up. And people were saying, well, the MLS really should just stick to buying players of that age or even younger. I mean, how great would it be if you can just sign, let's see, who's the top prospect outside of MLS? Oh, like, how about like... <laughs> How about if the MLS signed Coutinho? What if Coutinho was like, oh, forget Barca. Let me just go to freaking uh, New York Red Bulls. That'd be great. How great would that, How much like shirt sales would he have? That'd be great. And I know that's not a likely move because the MLS isn't a top, like, isn't like, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Like a top league with like a lot of competition right now. But it could be one day if we continue to get players of Javinko caliber or even better or younger or whatever. It could be like a league that some people could turn their eye to, like instead of going to like a Chinese Super League, Hulk, or uh, I forgot your other name, uh, Axel Witzel. How about you just come to the MLS and just tear it up here, or compete with other great players like Coutinho if he really did come here? <laughs> how great would it be if Coutinho came here? So yeah, let's start going for players who are not past their best and almost re- looking to retire in a nice, easygoing league. Let's kick this league up a notch and some, get some really good competition going here because that could really help the league. And that Americans love competition because it, it, it's true. Americans do love competition and it would, could raise the stakes for a bunch of teams. And promotion, again, could be really great. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are things that I don't like about the MLS and that, and that I would change. Do you agree with my list? Do you don't agree? Do you guys have some things that I didn't mention? You know, let me know down below because I'd love to talk about it. I know you guys, a lot of you guys out there are really passionate about this sport and about the league and about helping it grow in America. So, you know, let me know down below your thoughts and we'll have a nice chat about it. As always, guys, as always, guys, thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content coming out real soon. Thanks.